Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to create and analyze box plots, then we're going to find the interquartile range and outliers. So let's look at our question. We need to make a box plot of the following New York City temperatures found within a day. So we have, we have these five numbers and we need to make a box plot. These are all represent temperatures. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put the numbers in order because we're going to be finding the median. So, so let's look at these numbers and we have 65. Let's just cross off when we put them in our lines. So 65, then we have 77, 80, 85, and 92. To make a box plot, we need to find three different quartiles. And all quartiles mean is the medians. So, so the second quartile is always your, just your normal median. So to find the normal median, we're just going to cross off one by one to get that middle number. So notice quartile 2 is equal to 80. We're going to be finding the quartile, quartile 1 is the first half of the data. So you can see we're just looking at this this part kind of ignoring the rest of this and finding the median for quartile one. So notice there's two numbers here so we don't have a middle number to work with. So we're going to want to find that middle number. To do that we're just going to find the average of these two. So we have 65 plus 77 divided by 2 which is going to give us 71. And then we're going to do the same thing to find quartile three on the sec with the second half of the data. So again we're just going to find the average here. So quartile 3 is equal to 85 plus 92 divided by 2, which is 88.5. So now we actually have everything we need to find to make our box plot. We have quartile 1, quartile 2, and quartile 3. So, so let's make, start by making a number line. Our minimum, our lowest number is 65, so we're just going to start there. So we have 65. And then we want to go all the way up to a little past 92. That's our highest number. So let's count by fives. 2, 3, 4, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 95, 80, 85, 90, 90. And then we're almost there, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go up to 95 so we can include 92 in there. So now we're just going to mark all our quartiles on our number line. So 71 is over here, quartile 1, quartile 2 is 80, right here, and quartile 3 is 88.5, so 86, 87, 88, and kind of in, in between right there, 25. Now we can just connect all of our lines together so, and making a box. So that's our box plot we also need to mark where the minimum and the maximum are. So the minimum of our data is at 65. We're going to make a dot and just connect it to our box. And then our maximum is at 92. So our highest number of data is 92, 91, 92. So that's right here in our number line. So we're just going to mark it and draw a line. So just to remind you where all these, what all these um, numbers represent, this is the minimum, quartile one, quartile 2, which is also the median, quartile 3, and the maximum. So sometimes this is even called, box plots are even called the five number summary because notice you need five numbers to make it the minimum, quart the three quartiles, and the maximum. So that, that's really it for our box plot. So, so now we're going to start analyzing our box plot and seeing what the data can tell, what this box plot can actually tell us about the data. So the interquartile range is one way we do that. So the interquartile range is just the is just quartile three minus quartile one. So we just we just found those two, right? So we can easily find the interquartile range of our data. So quartile three we see is 88.5 minus quartile one, 71. So if you just plug that into your calculator, you get 17.5 and that's our interquartile range. So another important uh, thing that we need to analyze are the outliers. So there's an upper outlier and an 
and a lower outlier. And we'll look at what each means, but first we're going to find them. So the formula for the lower outlier is Quartone minus 1.5 times the IQR, the interquartile range, just the shorthand way of writing that. So, so we could fill this in. So Quartone 1 is 71 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which we just got, 17.5. So if we just plug this into our calculator, we get, let's see, we get 44.75. So remember, this will, these will represent temperatures. So we really get 44.75 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we find, let's find court, the upper quartile, which is quartile 3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, IQR. So we have quartile 3 is 88.5 plus 1.5 times interquartile range, 17.5. So if we plug this into our calculator, we're gonna get 114.75 degrees Fahrenheit. So all the outliers represent are the extre are extreme, potential extreme data points that could skew our data and skew the representation that we see on our box plots. So if any temperature is below 44.75 degrees, that would be considered an outlier. And the same for if anything is above 114.75 degrees. So there's these two extreme, anything really below the data or anything really above, and that's what outliers are. So take a look at the next slide that summarizes everything we just went over, including creating a box plot, finding the interquartile range and the outliers. And if you're looking for more practice, check out these questions right here. The answers are up on the blog if you want to check those out. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.